Hey, Tony here. Today I wanted to take time to tell you what my opinion is on the Disney 100 line of um, Blu-rays, 4Ks, and still books that are coming out this year. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the way that they look, being that they're kind of minimalistic and, and silver and gray looking, um, especially the Star Wars still books that are coming out from Best Buy. I know a lot of people did not like the artwork on those, which I know that you know, thinking about still books, you think about a really nice looking um, design on the cover. Um, but I do like the idea of what Disney is doing for this um, 100th anniversary that they're doing. Um, some of the examples are the slipcover editions that they're coming out with. To me, I, I like the way that that looks. It's so, um, I don't know, to me it's it's different. It's not your average slipcover. It has a theme about it. it. Has some really nice looking artwork on the back. It all has Disney 100 listed on the packaging. So they're very similar in art style. And so that's one thing that I like about them. And then of course we have the still books that they're doing from Best Buy, which look like this. Actually, I'm just gonna take this one out just so that you can see the front and the back because all of the still books that are coming out are very similar to this style. So they, they will be silver like this. They're gonna have a debossed Disney 100 logo and then the debossed title at the bottom. And then just a very simple image of the main character of the film. And then on the back, there's just a, a little icon from the film shown. And so this right here is very plain looking, I understand but very consistent artwork, even with the Star Wars editions that are coming out. Um, to me, these are plain, but they're not terrible looking. I really like the way that they look. And what they put me, the, what they put me in the mind of are the Disney treasure tins that I collected years ago. So this right here is one of the Disney treasure tins that I have in the collection. As you can see, very similar style. Um, of course, we have a DVD case, and then we have the still book. So I really think that's the aesthetic that Disney was trying to come up with. The Disney Treasure um, tins that they did back in the day were very popular. They, they all sold out very quickly, very hard to, to come by. And so to me, I think that's the thing that they were trying to maybe replicate. And so to me as a collector, I really do like continuing this. I, I plan on purchasing all of these Disney still books. Hopefully I will be able to get all of them. Um, it may not be for everybody. That's definitely understandable. And that's as collectors, we don't want to all like the exact same things. We're gonna have our opinions and our disagreements on the way that some of the art styles look. But overall, I'm really happy with this Disney 100 line. Now, one good thing about the Disney Treasure Tins was the fact that they came with extras. And I know that these still books aren't coming with any extras, but like with these, some of these came with pins, some of these came with just a card. Um, they all had a certificate of authenticity, which was nice. So, you know, Disney did kind of step away from doing those type of things. Um, so I think maybe if they would have included something extra with these releases, maybe it would have got more people interested in purchasing them. Um, like with the Mickey Mouse um, black and white edition. You know, it has like a little art card inside. So something simple like that might have made May, might have made more people more apt to purchase these. So I think that might have been a miss opp missed opportunity from Disney. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are about the Disney 100 line. If you like the slip covers, if you're a fan of the still book artwork, um, maybe what works for you and maybe what doesn't work for you because I really do enjoy reading your comments. Also, let me know which of these that you might be interested in picking up. Maybe you're going to pick up the Star Wars still books or maybe you're just going to focus on some of the animated still books. I'm hoping to be able to add them all to my collection. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.